I love debates like this because they're very simple and to the point. I understood exactly what you were trying to say. How some people turn up their nose on people who speak differently. And they assume that this black person or any other person is trying to be white. I know a lot of Hispanic people who don't know how to speak Spanish. And when you come across some, quote me if you want to, Mexican people who do speak Spanish people, uh, speak Spanish, they think these other people are trying to be white. The same thing with English. Now, just because you black, that don't mean you have to speak Ebonically. Ebonics, when did that happen? What, 1980 something? When they decided to call Ebonics. Come on, man. Black people speak English. You didn't want us to speak our language. Not you, but the powers that be did not want us speaking a language that they couldn't understand. So, we adapted their language. And the thing is, throughout the course of pop history, see, America is a big popularity contest. And this popularity contest is popular right now to be gay. I'm sorry to say it, but gay is popular. Gay is fun. Gay is the thing to be right now, I guess. I didn't grow up in that era, so um, I grew up in the black empowerment era when, where everybody black wanted to scream they were from Africa, but nobody could speak any African dialects. So, let's getting back to your point. There was a video that I sent you with this young black woman speaking on one of my videos. Not my video, she, she gave me a reply. And her reply was, you know, to the, I think it was to the sex with white men hmm, video or whatever. Um, she was right. She didn't grow up in the hood. She grew up in, I, I don't know, the suburbs or something. But she spoke, and when she spoke, if you covered your eyes up, you swear you heard a white person speaking. That is a good thing. I'm sorry. I am sorry to say this. Some people, not just black, not just young white folks, not just young Mexicans, some people do not know how to speak. How we all talk to each other at home is one thing. How we all talk to each other when we're at somebody else's house is another thing. How we are supposed to act and carry on in public is what we're supposed to be trying to do. You want to carry yourself in a respectful manner. You can't respect yourself holding your nuts screaming, nigga, oh man, that motherfucking bitch. Yeah, what the fuck you stand at, motherfuckers? White people do it too. You motherfuckers stand all hard and shit. What the fuck you moolies stand at? You know? Or, uh, or, uh, these niggas is tripping. These motherfuckers is tripping. Try to make myself look bucked. I'm just getting fat anyway. Just a fat old black man. So, um, what I'm trying to say is this. People do get a lot of flat for being able to speak. Now, a lot of people who have watched a few of my videos assume that I've been to college and I'm all educated. It's perception. Now, when I'm in my bedroom filming videos and shit, you see a fucking Krasilansky on the wall. When I'm in the kitchen and shit, you see all kinds of different alcohol and bottles of wine and shit. When I'm in different places of the house, you see different forms of non-blackness. First of all, when I was younger and I had a lot of friends, I had a lot of white friends, a lot of young white people. And I like to have alcohol, lots of alcohol. There's alcohol all over this house, but it's not mine. I got like 37 bottles of wine, but it's not mine. It's like 15 or 20 bottles of alcohol from all over the world, but it's not mine. It's ours. It belongs to me and my wife. Some people, young people are especially stupid to this fact. Just because there is something in somebody's house, that does not mean it is all supposed to be drank up. Just like the towels in the bathroom, they're there for show. If you want to wash your hands on something, wash your hands on the towel right there next to the sink. People have no etiquette anymore. Therefore, if, if all you do is listen to rap music, 
sit around, kick it, and drink 40s and shit, you're going to fucking talk like that. You're going to speak ebonically. If all you do is sit out in the street and bullshit all goddamn damn night and don't do nothing, you're going to sound like you hang out in the streets. But if you surround yourself with older people and you don't do all the fucking talking, you can actually listen, learn, and speak. That's the simplest thing in the world. And people take it upon themselves to say, man, you trying to act white. You all bourgeois with your conversation and your little girly dog. What kind of man, nigga? What happened to you? I'm not being a nigga. I'm not being quote unquote the stereotypical nigga. I can go to the store right now and buy all kind of beers and shit. I can go get all kind of weed and woo, get all loopity loo and stand in front of a house and sell dope all day. Why? Why? What is the whole purpose of living up to a fucking stereotype? Nigga gotta be hard. No. Nigga you acting white. No. Man, you don't even fuck with black people no more. No! Where is the logic in being a color? There is no logic in being black. Black symbolizes evil and bad shit. I'm a fucking human being. I am not a color. And then we're talking about speech. How if someone speaks a certain way, he's disowning or embracing. Knowledge comes from your surroundings. If you surround yourself with idiotic bullshit, therefore you are. I love the fact that you gave me an opportunity to speak on something. Because not only am I touching on your point, but I'm also getting a point across. Black people as a whole ought to stop trying to be black people. You need to just be yourself. A human being. You don't want nobody fucking with your family. You don't nobody want nobody messing with you. You don't want nobody bothering your surroundings. So why do you want to act like an image? Oh, by the way, I love the clip of the boondocks. You know, a little picture. You got a Yui right there. I love the boondocks. I've been reading the boondocks way back in the day. But I told you I don't read books. I never found knowledge in a book. I never was attracted enough to read a book. So I obtained knowledge from people. In school, they labeled me as a problem child. You know, because I would ask the adult question, why are we studying this when I need to learn a skill? Well, you know, this history is not going to repeat itself unless we fall subject. And we have. We're all slaves now. Yo quiero un bed. So what has society brought me to? It brought me to this point right now. Like I say in most of my videos, damn near all of my videos, we have all been lied to. Education is something that you have to want. And if we continue to train kids and teach kids not to want an education, then we'll have a bunch of people who can't speak black, white, Mexican, or any other way. We'll just have a bunch of idiotic kids quoting video games and hip-hop music, rock and roll music, smoking weed, partying all the time, because you know what? Life is short, and, you know, I'm going to live my life. Life is not about you, me. It's about us, what we do as a people and as a whole, black, white, brown, purple, green, or whatever color you want to be. We need to find that one color that we all are, and that's the human color. I'd like to thank you for your video reply and letting me bounce off you to get what I have to say across. My 10 minutes is up. I gotta go. You've been tubed.